Okay, we're going to start from here because I was trying to do a cocktail video that showed um, using the bubble bar and getting all the nice bubbles and everything like that and my tripod literally expelled my phone and it flew across the room. So I don't have any of that footage that I just got of making all these bubbles. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit of bubbles um, in some very hot water. Uh, and the water is kind of a bit of a creamy pink with some a little bit of shimmer to it. And it was from the Lush Candy Mountain Bubble Bar, which is a candy uh, sweet vanilla scented bubble bar. And what I was going to do tonight was a bath bomb cocktail that's all sweet candy scented stuff. So my next thing that I was going to put in is this, which is the Killer Clowns Coffin um, Cotton Candy Scented Bath Bomb by the Mad Bombers. And I'm going to put it right here in this little hole and see what happens if it'll actually stay in this spot. I don't know if it's going to float. Oh, it does. It floats. So. We'll see what this one does. Now this one's cotton candy scented. It's very heavy. Um, it's a large, large bath bomb and it does smell just like cotton candy. It's got blue on the bottom and pink on the top and all that red blood on it is the melt and pour soap. So it, uh, it has that kind of gory look to it because it is themed after killer clowns. I'm kind of disappointed because I was doing really good with the video on the uh, how to make a good amount of bubbles with a bubble bar and it uh <laughs> the tripod fell over and it shot my camera or my phone across the room and just didn't didn't want to do anything. Oh, we lost it. Let's see. This one uh doesn't seem to have any, any fizz to it, which is odd. Like, none of that cool show that normally you get off of these. And you can see it's got the blue and the pink. But that's, I'll hold it upside down and see if this does anything. It's not really, not really doing much of anything. Just kind of sank and just sitting down there. It's not even breaking down, which is kind of odd. I've never had a uh, <clears throat> bath bomb from the Mad Bombers do that. And it's not old. It's been sealed in its shrink wrap. I only got it like a month ago and it's been kept in a really safe, cool place. Well, since that one wasn't much of a show, time to throw in this one. So here we have Kill Them All by Whiskey Mermaid Company. And uh, this is based on the Doll Deadly or Dolly Deadly um, stuff. And it is blueberry scented, like sweet blueberries. So it's kind of candy like also. So that one gonna. That one kind of floats. Oh, and look at that bright blue foam, which is really cool. So I'm guessing since the water underneath is like a pale pink and the um, Killer Clowns from Mad Bombers was like pink and blue, and this is pretty blue, it's gonna probably end up being like a light to medium purple-ish water. Oh, that one looks cool. And it's got that cool pink ring around the outside from the other one. And it all smells really good. It does just smell like sugar in here. Just sugar and cotton candy and fruity and it smells yummy. Let's see if I can reach under this without making too much of a mess to grab the other one. Trying not to ruin my whole 
Okay, well, I made it a teardrop. So while that's going, I mean, this is the uh, one from the Mad Bombers, and I don't know what's going on with this one. It wasn't foaming, it wasn't fizzing, it just kind of dropped, and it was just sitting there. Really weird. I've never had one of their bombs do that. They've all pretty much done exactly what you would expect. I mean, it's still crumbling really nicely. It still smells amazing. I mean, the whole point of a bath bomb is to add some essential oils and some luxury and some color and some shimmer and stuff like that to your bath. So it's still going to do its job. It's still going to be <clears throat> enjoyable, just not a showy one. As you can see, now my hand is purple. I'm trying to squish it. We've still got our kill them all going. I could change the shape of the spot by just moving the bubbles. Oh yeah, the water's already showing a nice purple. See that? Nice purple water with lots of bubbles. Looks like there's a lot of sparkle coming out of this one. And, ooh, that looks like maybe some black coming out of it as well. So it's like bright blues and maybe some blacks coming out of here. These bubbles from uh, the Lush Bubble Bar are fading pretty quickly. And just kind of popping away. But they feel really nice. And like I said, it smells really, really good. That's, I mean, that's what the whole point of this is, is to, to have a nice, relaxing bath that smells good and looks pretty and leaves your skin feeling really nice. I can still feel tons of little pieces of the... Uh, Killer Clowns bath bomb all over the bottom. Just chunks. It's not breaking down at all. Huh. That's interesting. <clears throat> I've never had that happen with one. I mean, I've had bath bombs that weren't fizzy, but they broke down. They didn't just kind of crumble into what feels like sand. It is recommended, though, if you get bath bombs, try and use them right away, like within like a week, because they could lose, you know, some of their showiness and some of the scent could go away and it could not be as spectacular as you wanted it. So try and use them as quickly as you can when you get them. Oh, see, now it's red coming out. There you go. Now you can see it better. So try out this style because you see this one a lot when uh, people are filming bath bombs. They'll do all the bubbles and they'll make a hole and they'll put the bath bombs in it so you get really intense uh, color from it. But I think I prefer doing the bath bomb first and seeing what kind of art that puts off. And then doing the bubble bar or the shower gel or whatever you want to do to make the bubbles afterwards because this is cool and all but I really like you know watching it all over the tub that and like all my bubbles are disappearing while I'm waiting for this to go so I'm essentially losing my my bubble bath very very good smelling bubbles though they do smell like candy which is why it's called Candy Mountain. Oh, 
flip it over. Nope. Oh, there it is. There you go. There you see some more of the red that's in it. So it's red and blue. Very blue. This is a color intensive balm. I just touched it for a second. And my fingers are purple. Very cool looking though. And it smells really, really good. I'm kind of anxious to see if there's any shimmer in the water. Oh, and so you can see on this edge here, that bright pink that was from the Killer Clowns. The only color that came off of it was just that. Let's see. This is just a teeny tiny little. Like that. Blue and red. So yes, here we go. Here's our water. Here is our very purple. I mean, you can see that I could still get bubbles from this pretty easily. Oh, got a nice band of like blue bubbles over there. Um, I don't see really any shimmer in the water at all. So it's not like a luster or sparkle intensive one. It's just color, lots of color, lots of sweet candy scents, and then the bubbles. You can see, yeah, some pink bubbles and some blue bubbles. And then over here I have my little bubble mountain and my nice blue. It's looking more blue on the, the camera, but it's actually a very purple, very dark. And it's nice. It feels really, really, really nice. This is a, uh, you're not going to need lotion after this. So anyway, that's what it was. It was the um, Candy Mountain by Lush Bubble Bar, the Kill Them All Bath Bomb by uh, Whiskey Mermaid Company, and the uh, Killer Clowns Coffin Bath Bomb by the Mad Bombers, kind of as a little candy scented bath cocktail. Turned out really nice. I'm not not mad with any of it. I really like that section of the colored bubbles. But yep, there's my bath. So that's it.